Well, hey, my fly subscribers. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today, what I'm making. This is for an upcoming video. And so these are wings for a uh, hopper, uh, grasshopper fly. Um, could also utilize these for some other stuff. Even I would think dragonfly wings if you got some other kind of material to do it with. Shaped them different. This one might be a, a little too rounded because hopper wings tend to be pretty straight. And so I saw this technique on hopperfishing.com or .wordpress.com or whatever. It's a, it's a website. I was just flipping through and I thought, man, that's a really cool technique. I can't believe I've never thought of this before. All right, so real simple, guys. You take a thing of packing tape here. I'm going to try to lay it down without it sticking to you. That's probably the hardest part. And just grab any feather. I like these. These look pretty good. Um, try to get something that... Looks pretty even. You could go with a smaller feather if you wanted a small one. I'm doing a pretty big size hopper, so you can go any color, any shape. I have these, these look pretty nice. This is a little little cape I had by some some place in England, Terrell, England. I don't know, I had gotten that from I think a subscriber of mine sent this to me, so just works perfectly nice little shape you probably want something in this shape and then I find it's easier just to strip off the bottom part grab a pair of scissors cut off that stem we'll do that with both um, I'm doing two at a time you could probably do more if you wanted if you were going to tie a bunch or maybe one and there we go then you just stroke up the, the fibers, making sure that this is all looking pretty good and even. And then we are going to place this on. Now make sure that when you do, you have it drop straight down. You don't want that to bend because it'll, it'll stay that way if you do. Um, so I'm just going to do two here. Again, like I said, you can make more or less. Just drop straight down. There we go. Just grab another piece of tape, lay it right on top, make sure it doesn't have any creases. And there we go. And then we can just kind of, you want some longer shank sh scissors. So these are by Risen, they're their hair scissors. They're a little longer, um, about, I think they're four and a half inch or five inch or something like that. Um, you don't have to go exactly that size, but. I think these could work for some other kind of um, wings as well, besides hopper wings only. And you could probably do like dragonfly wings with them. Maybe even like CDC or some small little feather you could use and do like a mayfly wing. In fact, you know what? I rounded off the top. I don't think we have to do that. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> it broke off. That's okay. We're going to fix this. All right. So let's fix the bottom of this one. Same here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at the stem. Of course, make sure which side is up and which is down. So that's the upside. And fold this right in half. Take the end. Just cut a notch like that. And there we go. Now you've got the wing of a hopper. You tie a bunch of these and then kind of pick your different sizes. You could get like a little template thing and put over top of it and cut over it if you wanted. There we go. That's pretty much it. So, you know, now you can, you've got quite a few, uh, pretty quick and easy to tie those, especially if you, if you make like four or five of them in a row on a piece of tape or even more, I think you could end up, you know, making these pretty quick and they're a nice little wing. So I'll show you guys, uh, on the next video, me using this on a hopper. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. 
They are the ones that made these scissors. They're great scissors. They make a whole host of different scissors. I really like these for smaller flies. It allows you to get in real tight and tiny with those really narrow little tips on them. So you can get in real tight on some uh, really small flies. Um, and with the mitten, I mean, it's really easy to hold in your hand. Um, you have a lot of precise, precise uh, cuts. But what I really like about these scissors is they don't dull very quick. Um, in fact, I find them better than like Dr. Slick, I think is the other brand that is really popular. And they're a little less expensive than Dr. Slick, but they last longer, way longer. Um, I have some Dr. Slicks that uh, dulled on me really quickly. Those, um, those dulled super quick. Um, and then I've got these risens that I've had for a long time, same exact style, and those ha still haven't dulled. Um, so they're, they're pretty good. I like them a lot. Um, so pretty long lasting. I, I tie a lot of flies, so I do go through my scissors. So if you want a good pair that'll last you, most of you, probably a lifetime, check them out. Um, but they sell more than just scissors. They sell flies and rods and reels and other accessories uh, hooks really good price on hooks um, amazing hooks and beads for the price so definitely check them out go to www.risenfly.com and type in mcfly at checkout for 15 percent off of your first order with them um, also uh, if you haven't already please subscribe um, hit that like button like button if you like the video it would definitely help me out and i will see you guys on the next video now you Go catch some fish.